Hey, Nunez, Pastor Josh here. Hey, I just spent 24 hours in the cab of a truck with my brother, just moving him to Austin this week. And we had so such a good time, so many different conversations. One of the conversations that we talked about was about are surrounded around the word balance. And it really got me thinking about my own life, right? My, my work, my ministry, my church, my family, um, how much time I spend with my family, how much time I exercise, am I eating healthy, am I taking care of myself? You know, and I would just look that word up and the, the definition of balance really is all about um, weight that is evenly distributed to allow for something or someone to stand up straight. If we are unevenly, uh, or if there are things weighing us down on one side, we are going to be imbalanced and there is going to be other things that suffer. For example, if we are so focused on work all right, and we don't allow, we allow work to take over our life, then maybe our family life will suffer or our ministries will suffer. If we focus so much time on our ministries and not enough time with our family, then our family will suffer. Um, and, uh, and so we, I just encourage you to find um, balance in your life this week. Whatever it is, reflect on that word. Uh, maybe you need to cut something. Maybe it's something that you just needs to wait. And right now is not the right time, you know, to to take something on because it'll allow you to be imbalanced in your life. Ask God to give you the strength to do that. I just encourage you, if you need to talk to somebody, find someone to just talk about your life, and maybe there's some things in your life that need to be cut um, to allow God to, to take over, um, or maybe you just need to have more family time or, or more ministry time, getting plugged into the church, um, and you're just missing those pieces. Uh, maybe you need to find time to exercise and eat healthy. Um, all of those things come into play in how we operate in our life. So I just, I'll be praying for you this week. And if you need any more encouragement or someone to talk to, please let us know. Let me know. And um, I'd be happy to do that. Hey, this weekend, don't miss out. We got lots of things coming up. And uh, we got special speakers on Sunday with uh, speakers from the Philippines with um, Taco Guy after church and a nice meal together. And I look forward to seeing you there. And remember, I'm not driving back to California. I'm flying back to California. And so I'll see you in another day or so. Have a great day.